You're now live. Yay, hey! We're live. Are we live, Gabe? We're live. I believe so, yeah. We are uh, live. We me... are live. Yes, Mary Cassidy. Well, you better start live. talking. I am talking. Hello, everybody. We're live. Hi. We're live. I'm Mary Tested. This is Jonathan Freeman. Oh, hi. I'm Jonathan Freeman. And we're live. We're having coffee. We took our masks off. We know each other well, and so we're just, we're, we're winging it. We've oh, been together hey. recently. There's Will Mann. Um, oh. Okay, this is new for us. Johnny, you want to give your little speech? Well, yes. The, uh, most of you know this. We are doing this for Broadway Cares, of course. And um, as Jonathan some of... Jonathan is not live. What? Jonathan is not live? Hang on. We're I don't think Jonathan... Well, he pressed I think his... Jonathan, I don't think you're live on your phone. Oh. So tell what's going on. We are. Why we're. We are. Uh, we're doing this for Broadway Cares, which is an excellent organization, as as most of us know. And um, it all started because I had done a. Well, the person who helps me with my social media had put a throwback Thursday picture of Jonathan and I, a picture from Forty Second Street, which was in two thousand one. Are we living in the past or what? And the reaction was great, so we decided that we'd do this live thing. Now, is Jonathan live, Gabe? I'm trying to. I'm not. I'm dead. I'm not showing that he's live just yet. Um. Oh dear God in heaven! So we're doing like two different. Here's what happened. Tell the truth. Here's what happened. Gabe, who does both of us helps our social media. Who we're talking to right who now. We're talking on the to on a computer. Yeah. Um, Gabe um, works. Uh, one of his jobs is he works at Nordstrom's, and he was exposed to somebody with COVID. So he is um, quarantining. He's fine so far. He's quarantining. And he was supposed to be here today. We are technical idiots. And so this setup is like, it's just, it's stressful for us. So we're going on my iPad, Jonathan's phone, Gabe's on the computer in front of us. So this is going to be interesting. And so we just got a glass of champagne just in case. We, yes. To just cheers to all of you out there and also cheers to all the people we lost. Ooh. Jonathan's aunt died today. A um, friend of mine's aunt died today from COVID. Johnny, your aunt did not die from COVID. but No, boots. Um, so there's a lot of sadness going on and we hope to just, you know, lift the atmosphere somewhat. This is... Um, champagne. We also have coffee. We've got a lot of things going on. And we have our pictures that we're signing. So yeah, so the, the deal is that Gabe has all the pictures. He was supposed to bring the pictures here. We were all supposed to be together. So we're going to pretend to sign. We're going to pretend to do lots of things today. We're acting today. We're acting Everything today. Is Everybody will get their signed picture who donated. Everyone will get. Um, but today we just have to do a lot of acting. We're thrilled whoever's joining us is here. Yes, and we have everything is fake except for the coffee. We are not fake. I put okay. makeup on for this. Well, that's a little bit fake. Yeah, a little bit fake. Well, it's a little bit fake. I always say, why waste good acting on the stage when it comes in so much handier in real life? There you go. That's it. I so, practice that as much as I can. That's so, so anyway, um, so if we have some technical weird stuff, it's just because we are completely technical illiterate. We are operating on three different things right now, and so hopefully it'll come across as like, will someone tell us if they're seeing this? Somebody. Somebody tell us. It's not, John, um, they are seeing it on Mary's. Jonathan, you're still okay. not live on yours. I'm not sure what's going on. So should I be looking over here? Yeah, let's do mine and then... I've we, been looking over here. Yeah, look here because... Okay, this. I'm going to look over here. <laughs> Well, anyway, so this picture that Mary posted was was from us to get doing a show Forty Second Street, and then it was so successful that then Gabe reposted it on my uh, Instagram. Yeah. And um and so then it, it even more people uh, chimed in, and so Gabe said, "Well, why don't we just have a signing and sign these foolish pictures because it is a pretty foolish picture." It is totally. And um, if we had the real ones here, we could show you, but this is what we have. Facsimiles. So we have facsimiles. So we're gonna pretend. To Sign furiously, yeah. and um, and uh, and as you know, it's for Broadway Cares. It's now, listen, for Broadway Cares. I'm gonna give my little spiel about it because okay, I am passionate do. about it. You please know. do. Well, if we were doing a show, what I would be saying probably on stage tonight is twice a year. The theatrical the, community, right, the twice a year the theatrical community joins together to raise money for Broadway Cares. The theatrical community, when we say that, it means Broadway, off-Broadway, regional theaters, and tours all across the United States. 
Uh, the money that's raised by Broadway Cares, uh, it goes to uh, directly to men, women, and children uh, who have AIDS and AIDS-related uh, diseases and their families. It also helps to support the Phyllis Newman's Women's Health Initiative, the um, Samuel J. Friedman Free Health Clinic, mm -hmm. and uh, numerous of, uh, other organizations, uh, homeless shelters, um, uh, uh, food banks, and, and when called upon, it helps to uh, give money to organizations and relief funds all over the world. So it's a very good cause and we hope that you'll join us today in participating because as you know, all of these organizations now need a lot of help. Exactly, exactly. So we thought, you know. So why not get one of our pictures? I mean. If I if I gave some money, would you give me, would you sign a picture for me? Shit, yeah. Oops. Mary. Why I swore on live. Oh my goodness. Marie I can't promise. Australia Testa. <laughs> I can't promise that'll be the last time, but anyway. Gabe, is, is people, are people hearing us and everything? Yeah, um, we're doing good. Um, Gabe is on the computer. <laughs> we already said that. I know, but I like to repeat myself. Um, I also want to give a, sh I also want to give a plug to something else that has nothing to do with us, but I think it's important. There is, um, uh, Jefferson Mays has done a Christmas oh. carol that it's, I believe it's a $50 ticket. Look it up online. It is so it's brilliant. It's so brilliant. And oh my God. all of that money, it goes to regional theaters. So, um, and I think you have till January 3rd to stream it. It's mm -hmm. so good. I actually watched it twice. It's you so, know Jefferson. So I sure do. So I've do worked I. worked with Me Jefferson. Me too, a couple of times. There you are. Um, and actually, the first time I worked with him, I think he was still a graduate student. He's been, you know, working a long time. He's just tremendous. He's brilliant. Anyway, back to us. Um, so, so we are. So, should we take like questions? Oh, you want to hear stories? Should we tell them what we did at the last, um, our final bat? You know, we were actually fired from Forty Second Street. Our contract was up, and they no, didn't our renew contract, it. That's right. We weren't. They renewed. didn't renew it. They didn't renew it. Um, so after two years, which you know, okay, two, two years. Two and a half. Two. I thought it was just two. Two and a half. Okay, whatever. But anyway. Um, so for our last performance, mm -hmm. um, when we came out for our curtain call, we had actually switched costumes so that Johnny had my gown on and I had his tuxedo on. And um, it was a fitting end to our uh, time in 42nd Street. We thought it would be a good idea since we were technically playing, you know, the comedy parts. Yeah. And what happened is uh, during the um, Bows music, the conductor, Todd Ellison, was conducting and... When he realized what was happening, he let go of his baton. <laughs> what did we care? We were we were and out it of went there. Flying through the air and it landed in somebody's head or yeah. hat or hair. So or something. good. It was so good. It was a Which good Which way effect. are you looking? I'm looking at my screen. But where? I'm just looking at myself. There's so many things to look at. I know. Uh, yours, I don't think. Is he not live still on his phone? Um, he's not live on his phone just yet. Well, well how so long does it, it take? Maybe technical difficulty. Are, are you guys on the Wi Fi on his phone? Like, Are you on the one? Live? We what don't know. This, what is Gabe, we don't know. Good? I have good. no idea. But, we're you on, know, actually, on. we've worked together many, several many, times. Many, many, many times. And so um, that escapade was just one of many. Yeah. Now, I can tell I can tell a tale on oh, Marie. Go ahead, go ahead. We did a production. A lovely... Johnny calls me Marie. Oh, sorry, Mary, to you. Mm. Uh, we did a lovely production of You Can't Take It With You. Yeah with a million people that probably you all know. Can you remember the entire list? Um, Penny Roger Fuller, Bart, Penny Roger Fuller. Um, yeah. Um, oh, who was that wonderful guy who played the father? I just, all of a sudden, I've I can't forgotten his name. name. He would always Roz talk. Ryan. Roz Ryan. Um, uh, the man who was Pooh, Piglet or Pooh? Oh, John Fiedler. John Fiedler. Yeah, the voice um, of, of Who was the older Piglet. guy? He's, they were both long gone, but... Um, he played the grandfather? Or he was the Pepperidge Farm man. Yeah, the Pepperidge I'm Farm blanking. man. Um, anyway, we did this great production of You Can't Take It With You. and uh, Jack Hoffs is directed. Yeah, Jack Hoffs is. And he's gone too. Here's a little table toast to Jack. Here's a toast to Jack. We've lost him as well. He didn't look at me. Thank there you. There you go, okay. I'm too busy looking at myself in the camera. I see that. Oh, yeah. Um, so, um, uh, Mary played um, the Grand Duchess Olga Katrina. And and the drunk lady. And the drunk lady. But yeah. the scene I'm going to tell about is yeah. the day you almost made me miss my entrance <laughs> and then I couldn't speak. I know. I did it on purpose. She was very bad. I would encourage you to not ever, <laughs> unless they're paying you a lot of money, try not to work with Mary. <laughs> <laughs> so we I don't had do it a to scene. everybody. I don't 
do it to everybody, just you. Oh. <laughs> You're the only one. Well, I guess I'm supposed to be flattered. You are. So, um, we, it was in the second act, and I was playing the uh, Russian ballet teacher, and we, Marie and I left together. We went through a swinging door into the kitchen, and we exited, and then I had to go right back on through the swinging door. We exited through the kitchen, and as the door closed behind us, Marie said to me, Johnny, are they laughing at me because I'm fat? <laughs> And I said, what? <laughs> and she said, are they laughing at me because I'm fat? And I said, are you insane? I have to go back on the stage right now. Why are you talking to me? <laughs> and she said, well, you better go. That was your cue. So I pushed the door and I walked out on stage and I had nothing to say. <laughs> I finally thought you know, of something. It was a joke. It was like, oh, well, the audience can't possibly find me funny. They must think I'm fat, which I just loved. Doing. She was brilliantly funny, so well, forget you know, whatever. whatever she tells you. Whatever. To. That's the other thing. No, I whatever. can't depend on Marie's memory for these no, things. No, no, I really gen generally don't remember. So, who's watching us and who can we give a shout out to? Oh, yeah, who should we shout out to and who should we be signing Who up? should we be signing a picture to, Gabe? So, um, well, we got quite a few different people here um, giving some shout outs. A few people want to know what are you guys drinking actually right now? Oh, coffee. Coffee? But I, what kind of champagne? Pink. Pink champagne. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Um, in honor of the season. Yeah. In honor of the season. Um, it's nice. It's very pink. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, um, mm. we have quite a few people joining here. Oh, um, nice. Let's see. We have... Um, Gabe is like the voice of the technical voice. He's like the wizard behind yeah. the curtain. Behind the curtain. Yeah. Um, we have Joy Lynn Jacobs. Oh. So oh. she's... Andrew Eckert. All right, Andrea. Gabby Page, Megan Lu Megan Luellis. Oh. A lot of people are just sitting here joining. Nice. Uh, and so, oh. oh, Mary, you just actually got a question right now. Okay. What is your favorite hair product for those curls? Oh, Diva. Diva products. I use uh, Diva shampoo, Diva conditioner, one, and a Diva set it spray. And I get and a gel. call every morning to come over and do this. No, he does not. No, he does not. Like, the, I actually, like the guy at the beauty parlor. I actually washed my hair today, which is why it's so curly. So, um, but thank you for asking. Yeah, the Diva products. They were introduced to me, I'm going to say about four or five years ago by a woman in Florida. Um, I had gone to work at the Oslo Theater and she said, you have to use these products. And I've been using them ever since. They're fantastic for curly hair. So the, the, the benefit that Jefferson is doing, which gives money to the Oslo, will give money to the Oslo Theater, we have to thank for your hair products, too. Perhaps. Perhaps. See how these things go? But it's called just, the butterfly effect. Although, to, you know, if you gave me a million dollars, I wouldn't go to Florida right now. If there's anybody watching from Florida, um, I'm Well, we sorry. shouldn't be going anywhere right now. No, we're not going anywhere. Oh, Jesse Tyler Ferguson just joined. Oh, Hi. my God, the superstar. Jesse, how's the baby? And Jesse's got a cookbook coming out. And he, what does it say? Jesse sent a video. I can't, that was sideways, so I didn't see what it said. Jesse's got a, a, a show on H J HGTV, I think. And he's got a cookbook that's coming out. And he's just a prolific he's superstar. Very busy. And a new baby. And we know him because we did it. That was another show we, we did, did on the town with Jesse. Yeah, mm -hmm. on the town, the George Wolf revival of mm -hmm. on the town. And Jesse was unbelievably He's so fantastic adorable and, and so adorable. wonderful. And that was the beginning of his ascension to the to the to the annals of stardom. I think so. Yeah, I think so I too. I feel like we should all take a little credit for having. Sh shaking him up we, a little we bit. We have absolutely no credit. We have absolutely nothing to do with Jesse's I don't know what you're talking about. To, no, we, we, we barely had a scene with him. We were the character actors. Jesse, yeah. I hope you'll chime in, on, chime in on this. Does Jesse have anything to say? Yeah, I mean, we were formative. We were the character clutch. He got to see what happens. Yeah, this is true. But, you, you know, there age. was the, everybody knows on the town, there's the bunch of characters and then there's the leads. Yeah. Um, Jesse says that you're both his icons and that you must take full credit for his success. Okay, then we will. Then I take <laughs> full credit for, especially Modern Family. I had a lot to do with that. A lot to do with that. Here's a toast. Here's a toast. You we, can look um, at me in the Joy, eye the, Mary, Joy <laughs> Matthews from Marie Christine. Oh, Joy, Joy the beautiful mm. Joy. Oh my God, I haven't seen Joy since Marie Christine. Joy, thank you for joining us. Joy, you, Joy is joining us. 
we Joy's actually have joy. a quick question from um, Gary Wellbrock for, for you guys. Yes. Um, oh, Gary. Did you ever consider um, working together on a cabaret show at a place like 54 Below? Oh, never. <laughs> you know what? They wouldn't give a shit about us. Ah, that's twice. Um, You've got to put some money in the pot. For uh, we, didn't make a pot. we didn't make a pot. I'll put it later. I just made the rule. Okay, fine. The that's next time twice. you swear. That's twice. Jonathan Freeman sent a request to be in your live video. Oh, you can go ahead. It, it, does it have an accept? What? I, I don't no, see it. No, don't worry about that. Don't oh worry about that. You God. keep going. All right. All right. Um, um, I've yeah, I lost that, my train uh, of thought. What was the question again? Oh, that would be divine. It really would be divine. Johnny actually has a, a Disney villain cabaret show, don't you? Well, well I did I, I, I did a... Um, Oh gosh, I did a, a show on the Disney Cruise Lines that was, um, I'm gonna keep signing. I'm signing, I'm signing while we're doing this. Um, on the Disney Cruise Lines that was uh, based on the seven songs that were written for Jafar that were cut oh from God, the film. Oh my God, it must have been fantastic. That no one's ever heard. Well, what's interesting is uh, Tim Rice has a podcast and the other day I listened to his podcast because it was about all of his work with Alan Menken and he played uh, one of the songs that we cut uh, of, of me singing a song called "Why Me," and we we it was recorded at MGM Studio where they where they made um, the Wizard of Oz because it was a huge orchestral uh, a sound and the, it was um, the Los Angeles Philharmonic and then like I think half of the New York Philharmonic or something so they oh needed a God. space but it was epic and it was a fantastic song but it was so epic that. They, it stopped the movie at a certain point, and they were like, "We got to keep going. We have to of get to the end of the movie." They did. So, um, so then that one got that was I don't even know which one that was four or five or something got axed. Wow. So anyway, that yes, I did do a show about Disney villains. Yeah, and I did a show, uh, you know, years ago. I mean, oh, that's, I saw that. Yeah, you know, based on my album with Michael Starobin and I called "Have Faith." Okay, this is so old. This old news, but we're signing a two thousand and one picture, so why not live in the past? Because I'm not sure about the future. You know? I don't mind. Yeah. As long um, as you're there. Well, thanks, John. Johnny. <laughs> thanks. Um, <laughs> uh, anyway, I had a show. I did it I did it at 54 Below. But then, to be truthful... I thought they were talking about the Disney show you did. I did a Disney show in the 80s. Yeah. With, with Jason Grodd, Judy Blazer, and That's the Mark Jacoby. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was, was great. the 80s. That oh, was a great and show. And the Seven Dwarves. And yeah, the Seven Dwarves showed up. Snow White, which who we called Ms. White, because she was a little bit of a diva, the woman who played Snow White. But anyway, well, it White. was on the Disney Channel. She's a Disney princess. In the 80s. And it was really a wonderful show. You can actually find it. I think it's online. Um... And it was lesser known. Well, not not really lesser known because they they were uncomfortable about lesser known. So it's more like stuff that was sort of, you know, it was the cartoons and it was a fun Disney show. And we were we were very young. We were. We it was were, a very complicated music. We too. were in our twenties, so we looked damn good. So you could learn and, it in two uh, seconds. Well. Yeah. When we met Jesse Tyler Ferguson, he was probably about yeah he was nineteen or yeah, twenty. Yeah, he was he was very young. Yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, yeah, that would be fun, Johnny, if you and I did a show together. Well, I'm trying to get that show together I think for you should, actually. orchestras. And anyone... I don't need to do anything. Maybe I can be a backup singer. No, I, I don't, what do you mean? No, you're going to, I don't want to do anything. I want to just put it together. Oh. And then I can boss you around. Well, then you can try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can try. <laughs> Do we have, let's sign oh another picture. God, if you could see Marie Testa in... Let's sign another picture. I mean, Mary Testa in... Um, there we go. Here, let's and sign. we have to... Okay, oh, let me sign. Okay. So we act, if you so could... We actually have another question. This one's for Mary. Yeah. Um, so, the, from Tal Morning Dew, the last show he did before COVID was a L.A. production of In Trousers. Oh. And so he wanted to know what your favorite part of developing that show was. Well, um, you know, it was so long ago. I, I, we did everything. We wrote all, we, uh, we, Alison Frazier, myself, and a woman named Kay Pesek wrote all the harmonies that were now, you know, always in. We got no credit for it, but um, <laughs> talk about sour grapes. Billy. I, I, you know what? I love working with Billy. He's such a, he's such a kook and his music was so glorious. And the development of that was just, we would get together and sing and sing all of these songs. And then um, then we would clean Bill's apartment, which was 
a job and um and then we just got a bunch of chairs and we presented this stuff all the songs that we were singing we presented to a bunch of people one of the people happened to be ira weitzman who was from playwrights horizon so that's how the show happened um that came we we put out cheese crackers and grapes and that's wine. how you used to make a show happen that's how you cheese, used to make crackers a show. and grapes yeah and so that's how it happened. So it was divine. I mean, we were all had jobs. I mean, I had a, I was a working as a waitress. This was 1977, 76, 77. And then the show happened in 78. Um, and we used to rehearse together like from midnight to three in the morning because we were all working various jobs to pay the rent. And it was a glorious time. No one had heard Bill's voice before. You know, he it was new. He was exciting. It was a sound nobody had heard before. So it was wonderful, wonderful. I'm so grateful for it. And I'm, what I'm really grateful for is the fact that it still it resonates so deeply with so many people. It still does. It's and young all the people, time, isn't it? young people. That's what's so wonderful. They they discovered like in trousers has a whole like fan base. Um, it's so great. Isn't it's, it done all the time? I'm not sure it's done all the time. I think his other stuff is done more. I think in trousers is done occasionally, mm. but that was the beginning of Bill Finn. That was the beginning of the whole saga. We were there at the beginning of a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. I was there at the beginning of Water. Were you? How interesting. Did you help with the H2 and you were like, mm, H2, mm, oh, oh, I don't know. And they were like, yes, that's yes. it, that's it. Yes. <laughs> Ah. Freeman's done it again. Yes, yes. Gabe? So he, he, here's, oh. a quick, here's a quick oh. question. For... Oh, you froze. Uh-oh, you're frozen. Oh, here's oh, a I quick He's fro happens. I hate when they freeze. Oh. Okay, now you're not frozen. What is the quick question? Can you hear me now? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, okay, so which costumes were y'all, um, have y'all felt the most glamorous in over your careers? Johnny? Glamorous, me? Yeah, you're glamorous. Or like glamorous, comfortable, your favorite. Yeah. Mary, you take it away first. Well, I, I have to say, I, I was a big fan of my Xanadu costumes because they were flowy and they were goddess costumes. So, And I loved my wig. David. Um, David. What's David's last name? Oh, my. Zinn. David Zinn, who's genius. G genius. Um, and... I've worked with him a number of times. I love him so much, and his costumes are extraordinary. And so I think that was pretty great. I also loved, you know, I like, because, and again, with the character actor, but because I play the character roles, very often I'm in costumes that are like, oh, come on. You know what I mean? But <laughs> That's really what this, I had to say. Yeah, the Xanadu costumes were just glorious. I'm and, usually in padding or a bunch yeah. of, like, fur. Exactly. Or, it's, it's, uh, you know, I'm like, the Jafar costume is um, a challenge. Oh, my God. Has anybody um, not seen uh, Jonathan as Jafar? Oh, I'm sure some people haven't seen oh, it. Oh my lord, that costume change at the toward the end, that big number with the you change a hundred times in like five seconds. Three, three. It's three. I wear three costumes at the same time, but I can't. We can't talk about. No, it you too can't much talk about the magic, magic of Disney. But um, yeah, I have to wear three costumes, and it's held together magnetically. So the weight of magnets in three costumes, and the I I have a little whiplash actually. It's amazing. From it. Um, so I can't tell you that I've ever had that many uh, costumes that have been comfortable. Maybe maybe you can't take it with you because I was just wearing like uh, tights and a big shirt and... Uh... Didn't you have your bro on? <laughs> My bro. You know, your, your undergarment that you invented. My onesie. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let's not... Do, are we going to talk about that? Because then we're going to talk about the Spanx. Oh, well, I have to wear... I wear Spanx in pretty much every costume I have. I'm going to tell another tale. Uh-oh. I don't know if when I When we were doing 42nd Street... Oh, you remember this one. We were at start our first dress tech rehearsal, and there was a huge number called Getting Out of Town. The entire company's on stage. There's a blackout, and everybody, the whole company, has to run off stage and has to go to their dresser and, chain, and take off all of our clothes to put on our next costume for the next number, which was called Young and Beautiful. Which so, we were in. Which we were in. at the, yeah. We were at the, the very beginning Yes, of it. yeah. So yeah. there was a blackout. We run off stage. We get into the wings, and our dressers are like, over here, over here. And all of a sudden, everybody who's 20 years old and less is taking off their clothes, and Marie goes, wait a minute. 
stop, hold everything. I'm not taking off my clothes in front of all these kids. And I was like, I'm with her. <laughs> so they stopped the rehearsal. They're like, all right, wait a minute, hold on. We're gonna, hold on, we're gonna put up a booth. We'll put up a, a quick, a soft, quick change booth. And I was like, well, I'm not changing out here with all these kids that are looking so Forget fine. It. And I'm exactly. gonna, I'll be with Marie. And I That's said, is right. that all right with you? Yeah, and we were like, yeah. Yeah, we were like, fine. You know, we were like the oldest people in the show, probably. Well, no, yeah. I was. You were, well, you were younger. Well, I was younger then, but still we were up there. There were 18-year-olds in the show. Exactly. You know, all the dancers. So, okay, and they so all like, weighed all right. like 10 pounds. That's right. They're like, all right, reset. We got back in our costumes. We back, got back on stage. We sang Getting Out of Town. There's a blackout. We, run, we go running off stage. We go into our booth to make our change. We start taking off our clothes. And I start laughing because I see Maria's wearing something that's very, making her very shapely. And I start laughing. I was like, what? What? What is, what is that? What are those? And she goes, well, what is that? Because I had on this, like, leotard thing that had my... Mike packs in it and oh yeah that he invented really basically you I you invented. always do it on every show yeah well mostly because it takes it takes the place of of three things a mic belt an undershirt right. and underwear yes exactly and so <laughs> so then we started laughing so hard our dressers couldn't get us dressed and they're like uh, you guys you guys are almost on it and we hear the music for a song beginning and we're standing there like basically almost nude yeah. laughing it's at each a other. wonder why they let us go. Well, so so then they had to stop again, the dress rehearsal. Now, this was a show that took about three weeks to get through at once because yeah. it was so technical. It was, a be- so big. Just, it was a beautiful production. It really was a, an incredible production, and everybody was so extraordinary. And at the time, we said, you know, we'll probably never be in a show that's this big or beautiful again. Yeah, and we haven't been. But we still couldn't help having fun. So they stopped yeah. the rehearsal again, and the stage manager came back, like got off of his area and came over and said, okay, you two, listen. <laughs> We're going to do this again, but this is the last time we can do it. So even if you don't have any clothing on, we need you on stage when you hear your music. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, well, yes. I, I don't think I could go out there with no clothes on. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. And um, even with the onesie and the Spanx, it would be embarrassing. Yeah, so. But we got it together, I guess, and we did it. I guess. Then there was the time. What? Gabe? Oh, I was just going to say, we got some new people. Michael Kushner's joined. Oh, oh Michael Kushner. Oh, lovely. Hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. Who else? We got Ty Screen. Hi, Ty. Hi. I'm signing more pictures. Jimmy. Who? Who? Jimmy's, I'm going to say the name wrong. Jimmy Smagula. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, Jimmy. Hi, Jimmy. Oh, this is fun. Okay, I, and, can we I do actually, like a three? I have a question for you, Jonathan. Okay. Uh-oh. Yes. Um. If they wanted to ask you, um, they remembered seeing you in the Hercules animated series when you voiced Jafar for an episode. Oh, and yes. They wanted to ask you what it was like to work with James Woods. Oh. Um, isn't he kooky? <laughs> well, he's Hades. He's the voice of Hades. Yeah, but isn't he the... Isn't he like oh, James Trump, Woods? Trump supporter? Kooky? Oh, I don't know. Wait, oh, don't am I thinking this. of the right person? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know anything about that. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah, answer the question. Um, I have a feeling, although I can't remember, but I don't think we were in the studio at the same time. I don't think that that happened on that particular project. I think we, we were, because I think that maybe he was on the West Coast and I was either in New York or I was in, at some regional theater. So um, we were in separate studios. And um, so I only heard him in playback. Mm. So I actually don't know. I actually don't know very much about him. I think he I think is he's a wonderful. Okay, <laughs> he's a wonderful actor, <laughs> um, but that he is a fantastic actor, and um, that's all I know. I'm yeah. sorry to disappoint you, but I I don't. We weren't there very often. You know, that's things how it are is. done. I know where you're yeah. not really in the same room with somebody, especially television and film wise. You know. Yeah, you know, even when we when we did uh, when we worked on Aladdin originally. I mean, we had like a couple days. In the stu- one day in the studio with all the principals, 
And then I had several days in the studio with the kids, the, the kids being Linda Larkin and Scott Wenger. And I spent most of my time in the studio with Gilbert Gottfried because oh. most of our scenes were together. First of all, who so, would not turn, who would turn that down to just be in a room with <laughs> Gilbert Gottfried? I just love him. He, and he's a lovely man. He kills me. He kills me. He really is a lovely guy. He's married to a lovely woman. He has two hilarious, lovely kids. And he keeps telling me to stop telling the world how lovely he is because I'm going to ruin his career. <laughs> You know, one of my favorite shows to watch on TV, which is, this is neither here nor there, is a show called Flea Market Flip. And it, they always do a commercial with Gilbert, because I guess they use stars, too, oh. to do flea. It's like two two couples, and they get have a certain amount of money. They got to go to a flea market, buy this stuff, and then turn it into other things. I guess Gilbert was uh, on it once, and the commercial is always Gilbert with, like, a... Uh, a drill in his hand going, I feel like I'm uh, Clint Eastwood. <laughs> it kills me. He is more like Clint Eastwood. He's hilarious. All right, here's to our friend um, Gilbert. Jason Frazier wanted to say hello, Jonathan, as well. Hi, Jason. Hi, Jason. So, uh, but... Happy yeah, holidays. Think, uh, Tonight's the first night of Hanukkah. Tonight is the first night of Hanukkah. So That's right. So, Gabe's talking and we're talking right over him. What did you say? Um, I, you know, we've been on here for quite a while. If y'all, you know, ready to call. Let me tell you, or, we could have like a four-hour show, the two of us. Should we get off now? Or should we read? The, are we supposed to tell who we? Who yeah, the, the should we read, that, the read the people the who? Let's read the list of people who donated. Oh. Well, the well, we just got one more question. This one actually is directed to you, Mary. Yes. Um, if you have any fun Barnum stories. Oh my God! I've nothing but fun Barnum stories. Tell my my, my stories. Joking. Okay, I mean yeah, I covered six people who all had different circus skills. Uh, I'm just going to, It's. I have so many stories that I could talk for four hours about Barnum. It was my first Broadway show. Anyway, I managed to, and everybody in that show, all six women were very um, fit and glad to do circus skills. So I could juggle and, um, and I had to, my one thing that I had to do was climb up a 25 foot rope ladder and slide down a Spanish web, you know, that big thick thing. I, I, that's what I did. So when any, any time I went on and covered somebody, they would move people around. So I didn't have to do, cause there was wire walking and there was all this stuff that I had, I didn't want to do. Anyway, one of the people I covered is a, was a world champion baton twirler. Sophie Schwab was her name. It's now Sophie Hayden. And um, she twirled three batons at once and like did a, threw one up in the air, did a walkover and caught them. And it was just like amazing. I couldn't do any of it. And, and I managed to go almost, I think almost a year without having to go on for her. And then one day I showed up, I was on all the time. And one day I showed up and they were like, Mary, you're on for the baton twirler. And everything she did was on counts and everything she did twirled. So um, set changes were on counts. She would jump on a table and catch things. And it was, it was ridiculous. It was so ridiculous that everybody, all the other Broadway shows, the crews heard about it. And the backstage was packed when I was on with crew members from other shows. Because, Heckling you. I mean, and my, my costume was ridiculous. We called it the killer tutu because it stuck out. I just looked like an idiot. Because, you know, I, I've always been curvy, and the, it was a unit to costumes. You didn't look like an idiot. Yes, they, no. I did. The costumes were just ridiculous. So anyway, I'm on for Sophie Hayden, uh, Sophie Schwab at the time. Um, the baton twirler is a big part of the opening of Act Two, which is Come Follow the Band. And the lyric is, see the pretty lady toss that baton high, ain't she cute as a daisy? And the light would be on her and she would throw the thing up in the air and she'd be twirling two and then do a walk over and catch. Well, you know. So I had two batons in my hand, but, you know, I was kind of going like this. And so I threw it up in the air, come lost it completely in the lights. Wherever it landed, I would just point at it and what they do, what they call style. Yeah, I just point and smile. That was my whole show, except one change where I had to jump up on a table and catch a pole. I actually did it and I actually made it. And everybody was like, oh my God, that we all just went, oh my God, I did it. And we lost like eight counts of music. I have tons of really funny stories from Barnum. It's so too bad that you didn't work with Blake Hammond before you did that I, show. Oh my God. He can twirl a baton, remember? Oh, Blake Hammond's ridiculous. He... He's uh, Manny Naysayer. Remember his Manny character? Manny Naysayer. Manny Naysayer. Manny, if you're watching, yeah, if anybody he's knows Blake Ham, he's a fantastic... He's an unbelievable baton twirl. Yeah. But, you know, I never twirled about... They never hired me to be a cheerleader or a, a majorette. 
I would. You know, I wasn't in the I wasn't in the in crowd. I was like a you know I was an intellectual. Anyway, there you go. That's my part. She story. is an intellectual. Yeah, you yeah, know. Any other questions, Gabe, or do we need to close our show? Look at all the hearts. I mean, oh, I, who's sending us? Heart? I don't know. Yeah, you're getting. You're getting tons of hearts. Your people are loving this. Um, they said they could definitely go for four hours, but you know. Oh no. <laughs> no, I have a limit with Marie. Well, let, let me get those donor names. <laughs> we have. Oh uh, yeah, get the names on the screen so we can read yeah. all the people who donated and give you some huzzas. Okay, we're waiting for Let's Gabe see. to put up the screen. Make sure they're big so we can see them. Blow it up. Blow it up, baby. Okay. Okay. All right. Here we go. Can you see it? No. Not yet. Okay. Let Hang me, on. Hang on, everybody. Can you see them now? Yes. Yes. Okay. You ready? You, you re go. Okay. Okay. Chris Papa. Thank you, Chris. You read the next one. Oh, Corey Danielson. Thank you, Corey. Leslie Tannenbaum. Oh, Tannenbaum. <laughs> Thank you, Leslie. Seasonal. Yeah. Um, William Strike. Thank you, William. Is that how you say it? Strike. It sounds good. Oh, John Tracy Egan. Poodle. We love you. Thank you, Poodle. We love you. Thank you, John. Mitch Tebow. That's right. Is Mitch here? Mitch was in Oklahoma with me. He's divine. And thank you, Mitch. Susanna. Ari. 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 What a great name. Kenny Susanna. Carlstein. Kenny Carlstein. Hi, Luba. Kenny. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wendy Rosoff, uh, who Wendy. was in 42nd Street. Unbelievable. Adorable. That's the greatest right. tap dancer. Wonderful actress. Fantastic. She's fantastic. And she had a father that could play a violin because I did another show with her father playing violin. And Is he that was... right? Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Uh, she loves me. Oh, oh he God. played a wild. I didn't know that. That was her dad? Yeah. Wow, I didn't oh, know Wendy, that I at hope all. I, I hope I'm not getting that wrong. Well, whatever. Oh, well. No, she, I don't think that. She I loves am. you. She loves you. Um, uh, John Michael Schott. Uh-huh. Alexis Thank uh, Ramirez. Thank you, Alexis. Franklin, Franklin Britton. I love Franklin because Frank, he he, uh, he and I are Facebook friends, and he always posts these great things. He's Mr. Paul McKittrick. Paul, thank you so much, Paul. Tracy Priest. Yes. Thank you, Tracy. Anthony... Lorenzini. Hey, okay, Anthony. Anthony, thank you so much, Anthony. Italian. Yeah. Uh, Villarreal. Marissa. Vi Marissa. Uh, why is the name yeah. reversed? Marissa Villarreal. Beautiful name. Trying to trick us. Adrian, Adrian Bailey. Bailey. Yay, Adrian sends me funny stuff all the time. Uh, okay, wait a minute. Look at this name. Danielle Tynizewski. Tina Zuski. Tina Zuski. That's a great name. It's a great name. It's got a lot of um, consonants in it. Pat, I'll take an A. <laughs> Greg Gilman. Thank uh -huh. you, Greg. Amanda. Amanda. Adamez. Adamez. Karen yes. Etkoff. Karen Etkoff. Miss Etkoff, thank you. Thank you very much. Yasmina Kazan. Oh, is she wow. one of the? Is she in Disney? Is she, is she in Aladdin? I don't think so. Oh, because she's got, she should be. Uh, Dylan Crowell. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Dylan. Gary Wellbrook. Gary Wellbrook, who runs uh, this, what's it called? Broadway, Broadway First Class. Broadway First Class. It's so wonderful. He works with these young baby students, you know, like third grade, first grade. They're all like in various, um, either homeless or need or, need or they're um, deaf or, or hard of hearing. They're, they all have challenges, and mm -hmm. it's just so wonderful. Both Johnny and I did it. Uh, you well, go Mary and you read a book. Me to him. Yeah, you read them, and they are just the most divine children. It's such a great program. Gary is just an excellent PhD. Well, wait, let's get. I think it's they're they're hearing impaired, or their parents are. Oh, yeah. And so they uh, part of their curriculum is learning how to sign. And also, but also, there's some homeless children too, I think, involved in that. I'm not I think. sure. I, I think don't I could that. be wrong. But I've anyway, been there a couple times though. Yeah, it's a you great have. organization. I've only been there once. Thanks a lot. Okay, but I loved it. It was the best, my best day. Okay, here we go. Um, Susan Lauer. Scroll, please, Gabe. Thank you. There you go. Susan Lauer, where did that go? There we go. Oh, Thank you, Susan. Nicole Wright. Thank you, Nicole. Deidre. Antolini. Deidre. Thank you so much. Am I, Ty? Jamie Ogle, or Ogle, 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 Debbie Darnell, Debbie Darnell, that's a great, that name sounds familiar. It sounds like an old movie star, Debbie that's Darnell. That's my mom. 
Oh, it is? It is? That's oh, hey, oh. Gabe's mom. We love Gabe. Gabe's doing sounds, a great job for us. Just a great it one. It sounds like an old movie It star. does. Debbie Darnell. Um, Sahar Gabi. Ooh, that's a great name, too. Oh, Linda Larkin. Linda Larkin. Oh, we just The voice of Princess Jasmine. Yes. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Oh, we thank you guys so much. We're having a thank ball. You. But I guess we should stop. I guess we should stop. Okay. Well, thank you for joining us. Thank you for for coming. Thank you for donating to Broadway Cares. I'm sure thank Broadway Cares donating. thanks you. Um, we thank you. Uh, we want you all to stay safe and stay um, healthy. Wear your masks, please. Um, be, uh, be vigilant. Be good to each other. Be good to each other. Do not travel for the holidays. Just stay home. I know it's hard, but it's just, it's... It is what it is. Oh, God. Hey, Mary. Said that. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, Johnny. Look you in the eye. Mwah. No kisses. And happy holidays to all of you. And thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you, this Gabe. Is so much fun. Thank you, Gabe. You're the best. We love you. And happy holidays, everybody. Bye. Bye. How do I turn it off? You, you got to hit that same button. So on your iPad, you just have to stop talking. Um.